What's going on everybody? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I have a special tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate a photo using an awesome parallax effect. Let's get it. Now I know I haven't uploaded any Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial in quite some months but I wanted to bring some value back and today I did an awesome effect and I wanna show you guys how to use it. So right now I'm waiting for my son to get off the bus and he's gonna be our subject. Two things you're gonna need for this tutorial. You're gonna need Final Cut Pro 10, of course, and you're gonna need a camera that takes photos. In this case, I'm gonna be using my handy dandy Canon 7D Mark II with the Sigma art lens. And you're gonna need a subject. Say, what's up, Kai? What's up? We're gonna be using Kai. As you can see, Kion's drip right now. You got the Jordans, the camo with the Biggie Smalls t-shirt. So you're gonna wanna have your subject stand still. And that's the key, you're gonna want him stand still. And we're gonna take like five photos, keeping him centered in each frame. But we're gonna move accordingly like so. Sometimes this gets a little complicated with moving, especially children, which is completely understandable, but you wanna make sure they don't move and you want them to have, be in center the whole time. As you can see, I moved about five steps around him. Once you have this, we're gonna take it to Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. Okay, now that we have Final Cut Pro 10 loaded up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import the photos we just took. So right here, I have Kion right here. We're gonna import those accordingly. I also did another one with a wrestling figure that I still have. You smell what the rock is cooking, but we're gonna work on this one first. Now let's go into it. So I got all four photos here. I took five, but I didn't like one, so I made it four. Really the minimum's three, that's all you need. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, maybe click or drag the mouse right and we're gonna go for maybe about seven seven to eight frames in I'm gonna do six I'll just keep it six so we go through and we're gonna get the blade tool hit the B and chop it and I just like dragging this on top and chopping the other ones down too oops just like that get rid of that and go through this for all the photos So it's okay we have excess around here. We'll finish that in the after product. So don't worry if you have a black bars on the side right now. So we have our foundation. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag on top the other one, put it on top and we're gonna come over here to opacity and knock that down to like 69, 67 or so. And we're gonna come over here to the transform tool and we're gonna drag it accordingly. We want everything to be centered. So we are gonna center it as much as possible. Get done. It's gonna look a little cuckoo, but it is okay, like I said, and we're gonna put that one back. And don't forget to put the opacity back, all right? Then same thing with the third one. We're gonna drag it on top of the, the last one we just did. And we are gonna drop the opacity down come to transform and we are going to move it accordingly want everything to match up put that back to normal boom and we're going to do the same for the last one drag it on top drop the opacity down come over to transform all right cool so that's what it looks like you're going to see all this excess but i'm going to show you how to change that highlight all the all the clips and we're gonna create a new compound clip Kion clip drip boom and then from here we're gonna scale it up and we're gonna scale it up so we have no more black bar I'm also framing it a little bit so everything looks good let's just skim through oh yeah we're in the game and then Boom, voila. You guys can color grade this, of course, if you want. But to enhance this effect, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the Option button on my keyboard and drag up with the mouse. And now that I made that, but I'm also gonna come over here to the timing 
and I'm gonna hit reverse clip. So when you go through, it's gonna look like one of those boomerangs on Instagram. And then what you do, you hit Command C, you highlight both of these, come after, and just Command V, Command V. You guys can make it however long you want. I like going past 10 seconds, so once you do that, it looks like a seamless image, you know? And I know you guys probably seen this in like music videos and people's Instagrams all the time. This is how you do that effect. Feel free to add some color correction to this bad boy, really make it pop and implement these on your Facebook, your Instagram and ignite it up easy peasy. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future using Final Cut Pro 10, don't forget to hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.